or the fi grand finale of the day, I guess, is the drilling rig. This is a pretty big one, this one. So, Enzyme 148. I don't know lots about this rig or anything about this rig at all. But as far as a drilling rig, this is a big one and a new one. Uh, so anyone who hasn't seen one before, uh, I don't know even what to point out. The main part underneath the rig, like where it says Enzyme uh, 148, that's called the dog house. And, uh, un and below there is the substructure. This rig looks like it's a, a pad rig, which means it can drill a whole bunch of wells on the same location. It just moves it over. They call it a pad when there's multiple wells in the same place with the same pad. So, um, on the left-hand side, those are cement pins for when they're doing a cement job. For they, they cement the pipe into the ground at each stage, the casing into the ground. And then on the left side is uh, well sites where everyone lives, like the the company man and the but not the not the workers, but everybody like geology and uh, things like that. They live there and they communicate to the guys on the rig. And uh, this is a big derrick, big big heavy derrick. These, I think, I think it's a triple, and these have got the, that double long pipe. So instead of doing three stands of pipe, it's two stands. You can see in the middle there that there's a joint. I can't see it in my camera. Uh, up there is the monkey board. So the guy that's working up there uh, inside that shelter, you can't see him. And then at the very top is what they call the crown. But uh, that's what a drilling rig looks like. And on the back side there, underneath the site, in the very back underneath the shelter, uh, in that area, that's where the mud tanks will be, where they're using uh, what they call mud, but it's uh, basically like a cutting fluid for when they're drilling through whatever, and it holds all the cuttings in suspension back up to the surface, and then it's run through a shaker and screens and centrifuges to get all the cuttings out, and then they reuse it to drill some more. I used to run uh, intercom systems on drilling rigs that went from the doghouse to the consultant over to the left. I had them on rigs all over Western Canada. So I've been on lots and lots and lots of rigs of every size, from tiny ones to big, big, big ones. And this is a big one. They're loading pipe up or taking them down. That white thing moving up there to where that's called the catwalk, where it's going up, but there'd be probably laying pipe down I'm not quite sure anyway there is a uh, little bit of a tour from a self-proclaimed know-it-all expert that doesn't really know too much but if you've never seen one that's what they look like so that's three and a half minutes of there's a drilling rig cool eh but that whole lease man if she gets rainy she gets muddy this time of year in the summertime nice weather it's a good job and that's me so thanks for checking it out hopefully it was entertaining to at least two people in the world or a little bit informative i'm no expert but there's lots of guys that just never ever see them right because they're in a different part of the world so hopefully you enjoyed that talk to you later make good choices and uh, see you later